Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will learn how to do Jenkins integration with test project and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. I will show you step by step how to do this integration and I will also share some useful tips during this session. So we have basic six steps that we will do to do Jenkins integration with test project. So let's learn how to do Jenkins integration and let's get started. I am a teacher and you can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session we will do integration of Jenkins with test project and we have these basic six steps. The first step is we have to install test project Jenkins plugin on Jenkins. So before that we should have Jenkins up and running. Now if I go to my windows system so you can see this is my windows system and here I have Jenkins set up. Now just in case you do not have Jenkins already set up or you have not used Jenkins you can go to my website that is automationstepbystep.com you will find a tutorial on Jenkins under CI CD DevOps part so you can go here Jenkins beginner tutorial and this will take you to a YouTube playlist on Jenkins and here you can watch the first video introduction and getting started with Jenkins. So I am assuming you will have Jenkins set up and ready and it is very simple you just have to download the Jenkins.war file from the internet and then you can go to the command line to go to the same location where Jenkins.war file is I will go to this address bar and say cmd and hit enter it will open command line at the location where the file is and here I will say java hyphen jar and the file name that is Jenkins.war and if I hit enter it will start Jenkins on the default port that is 8080 and if I need to change the port I will say minus minus HTTP port equals any port number like 9191 and hit enter and this will start the Jenkins server. You can also set up and start Jenkins in other ways like a Windows service so you can use any ways and usually we need to change the port uh, as port 8080 sometimes is not secure or is already used by some other process so I have changed the port and now I have got this message Jenkins is fully up and running so if I now go to my browser and go to localhost 9191 or HTTP localhost 9191 I have my Jenkins up and running I will log into my Jenkins and this I have already set up earlier so all this you can watch in the Jenkins playlist if you are new to Jenkins I will go to my Jenkins dashboard and the first step was to install test project Jenkins plugin so I will go to manage Jenkins here here you will find an option to manage plugins I will go here and go to the available section so all the available plugins which are not yet installed on this Jenkins will be here. I can search for the plugin here. So I will search for test project. So you can see as I search I have got this test project automation platform. I will use this plugin. I will say install without restart. So this will install the test project plugin on Jenkins. You can also see this is the plugin documentation page and you can see some documentation here. I will go back to Jenkins and here you can see it is installing the plugin and if there is any dependency it will take care of that and everything is now successful. So the first step is done which is install test project Jenkins plugin. The second step we have to create test project API key. So log into your test project account. I am already logged in and here if you go to integrations and go to API here I will click on create API key and you can give any name to this key for example I will say Jenkins key 
and say next here we have a window to manage access so if you want to keep it unrestricted or you want to grant access to specific projects through this key you can do the setup here so for example i want to use this key only for getting access to the first web project that i have created so i will click this and say finish and this is created here so you can click on show key to check the key or just click on copy so i will copy the key and the third step is we have to configure test project jenkins plugin so basically i have to copy this key in my jenkins so i will go back to my jenkins and go to manage jenkins again and this time i will go to configure system go here and here scroll down you will find a section for test project you can see here it is we have this section test project job runner here you will put the api key copied from test project so i'll put the api key here and then you can also see here is a question mark this is a help icon if you click here it will show you some documentation similarly we have a verbose field here if i click on the question mark it says if true will print additional log entries so as of now i'll just keep it as it is and say apply and save and this is done so we are done with the third step configure test project jenkins plugin now we will go to fourth step and create a jenkins job so i will go to my jenkins and i can click here create new job or just click on new item here and i will name this job let us say test project web test and i will say this is freestyle project and say okay and now i will go directly to the build section so i'll jump here to the build section and in this drop down now you should find a option for run test project job you can see it is here so this option you will get only after you have added the test project plugin i will click here run test project job and here it is asking for a project id and a job id if you click on this question mark it says specify the project id where your job is located and then the job id as well so for this we have to do step number five that is add project and job ids so this you will get from your test project if you go to your home and you can go to your project so for example this is the project i want to run i will click on these three dots for more options and i will say copy id so just go here and say copy id and this is copied and paste this id in the project id field of jenkins and then same thing you will do with job so i will go inside the project now and go to my job and all this creating project and jobs we have already learned in the earlier sessions so you can watch that in case you have any issues so for this job as well i will click on more options these three dots and say copy id and then paste the id here in the job id field of jenkins and then we have a field wait to finish in seconds now if you click on the question mark here you will see these are the number of seconds to wait for test project job to finish and if you do not give any value here or if you say zero then it will not wait and the success or failure of the job will not depend on success or failure of the test but if you give some value here for example i say 50 seconds now this will wait for the job to finish if the job is finished within 50 seconds and if the result is passed it will pass the job else it will fail the job if the job does not completes within 50 seconds or it completes but there is a failure then it will fail the job so this is going to be very handy i will do this and say apply and save so the job is created and if i go to my jenkins dashboard you can see the job is here so i will go inside the job again and it is here so now we have done the fifth step now step number six is run job and check results so i just have to run my job make sure your agent is running 
and this agent is the one that you have configured with your job so whatever agent you are using in your job should be up and running so in my case this agent is on a mac operating system and my jenkins is on a windows system so you can see using jenkins you can also do remote testing it will run the job on the agent wherever it is set up so now i will click on build now and it will start execution and this is build number one and looks like it has failed if i go and check the console output so it says this particular agent is private so therefore it is not able to run i have to make this agent public so that it can run from remote systems as well so here is the setting i will make this public and that's it i will now again go back to the project on jenkins and say build now and you can see build number two has started and it is now running the test on a remote system so this is running our test and here you can see the logs so these are two different systems jenkins is running on a windows system and the test is running on a mac operating system and this is done you can see the execution has finished successfully and we also have got this link for the detailed reports if i go here it will take me to test project and on this system i am not already signed in to my test project account so let me quickly sign in to the account and you can see the results here i can also go to the specific job and i will check the latest execution so you can see the result and the details of this test execution so now we are done with all the steps and just in case you have any issues with jenkins you can go to my website automationstepbystep.com and you will find all the tutorials on jenkins here and these are the six steps that you can use to do jenkins integration with test project i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching